talk to the kids when they get to this learn to particularly when they get to this learn to breathe stage. So in learn to three, we're doing breathing head position. All right. Up until now, we've been keeping everything nice and square and flat in the water. But now we want to turn the body. So now is when those muscle groups, uh, the balance and muscle groups, are really going to come into play. If we, use, if we use a kickboard doing this drill, then this is too much flotation assistance for the kickboard. Hand floats perfect. It's a lot less assistance for the kids, which means they've actually, their body's actually got to do the work for them. We're talking about breathing, head position, learn to swim three. Just as important as our chin on chest to get our body position, our chin to shoulder is also very important. The natural movement for a child is usually a chin up in the air. This is a lifting, and now if you lift their head, a leg to sit. Okay? So chin on chest, chin to shoulder, that's the first part. The second part is important that we don't just simply do a full roll like this. Alright, I want to see head movement and shoulder movement. Always to the dominant side. So it's whatever hand you write with. I've often seen kids though, you know, they're right with their right, with their right hand. They still want to breathe with That's okay. Whatever right feels more comfortable. Okay. Boys and girls, we're going to do a kicking drill where we're going to do our breathing head position. Okay, so we're going to breathe, kicking along, chin on chest, one hand out the front, one hand out the back. And when I'm going to take a breath, when I want to take a breath, chin on, chin on chest. I'm going to turn my head to the side and chin to shoulder. Take a quick breath and back down, blowing our bubbles. This is what it looks like. Ready? One, two, three. Push. Chin on chest, breathing to the side. One, two, three, push. <laughs> 